We're at the Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant off of Davidson Drive with Larry Merriman, who is the project manager for the city. So here we find ourselves again, Larry. Just like we were a few months ago. Yes. And as we often do, let's start with the big picture, the consent administrative order that was um, ad administered to the city by ADEQ for tr improvements to the wastewater system. Correct. Uh, the CAO mandate dealt with overflows, wet weather and dry weather. Yes. And when was the CAO administered and how are we doing today? Uh, to August 2008, uh, they notified us that we were in fact being placed under consent administrative order. And to date, we are doing well. Uh, we are actually on target at this point to achieve and comply with the mandate of having all those issues resolved January 2018. Uh, as you know, we meet with ADEQ and EPA individually each year. We provide them an annual report that gives status, progress, and future plans. And to date, all the feedback has been very positive. So they're happy with our progress. They seem to be. That's great. Well, over the last several years, we've made a lot of infrastructure improvements, including replacing piping, correct? Many um, miles. So what is your present focus as we approach that January deadline? We are actually finalizing some larger piping projects, just making the final connections to change our conveyance methods. And then, of course, where we are today, this is by far the largest project to date. And this is installing ultraviolet technology as the final step in disinfection and treatment before we reintroduce this waste stream water back into the environment. So in layman's terms, what is going on here? What's going on here is we are retrofitting our existing basins where it has been the use of chlorine gas uh, to disinfect. We're going to take that away, which is a great benefit to the general public, our staff, the environment, everybody. It really changes things, and this technology, ultraviolet uh, lighting, is something we use at our other facility, our uh, small facility out in the western part of the county. It's the preferred method now by the Department of Health and everyone else. Mm -hmm. When do you expect that this project will be completed? We'll wrap this up by the end of the year. We'll have it functional by the end of the year. Now tell me what a grit chamber is and how does that factor into what we're Grit seeing? chamber is, this is, if you will, the end of the process stream. The grit okay. chamber is at the beginning of the process stream. All right. Uh, that's the other part of this project where we remove organic materials, large sediment, rocks, things like that. Uh, you begin to clean it up and then you begin to control the flow through the plant at that point and that too is part of this project. So it's being completely replaced? We are actually completely replacing many things, structures, uh, different parts. It's a much bigger project. I see. Um, now, let's talk about project safety. Always something front and center with the projects that you've overseen. So, what is our update on project safety? Uh, to date, uh, we can boast that uh, we have been very, very fortunate, had great partners, both contracting and engineering, and we do not have any uh, OSHA recordable incidents that we've had to deal with. We don't have any injuries to the general public, which has been great. You know, this uh, is the first time that we have found ourselves not in a traffic lane. So it's nice to get off the streets, both for us and I'm sure for those in traffic. Uh, we have been quite the little obstacle and impeded a few areas of traffic as we've gone through this the last nine years. So you've had some really tricky situations, but you came out on the other end with no incidents whatsoever. That's Correct. really we, great. We've had great partners. Mm -hmm. And so the signage nearby helps, right? It does. We would like folks to know that you can't just wander up, and if you do, uh, you're going to have to be first approved to enter the site, and then you're going to have to have the appropriate uh, proper and personnel protective equipment. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so we're, we're nearing the completion of the project behind us, which is great. Sometimes it's difficult for the the public to understand the benefits from these projects. What would those be? This is again uh, the final end, the, the last piece of the puzzle, if you will, for our process treatment, where we take the wastewater and we essentially clean it to the point that it's cleaner than what we're reintroducing it to, which is Lake Catherine. Uh, and we definitely want to make sure that folks understand this is all for the future as well as just dealing with these issues now. This project and the others, the Board of Directors, our senior management, the city, everyone has just been very, very good about looking at this long term. Not just some short term remedy, but a solution that's going to allow this facility to both grow and stay current with technology. 
So a phenomenal difference in the before and after. Uh, definitely. Our <laughs> staff here is very excited about this. Right. Are there any final comments that you might like to make? Only that uh, we do appreciate everyone's patience uh, to date. Again, we're not in your way in traffic this time. But uh, just please realize that this is for the, the greater good. This is to help preserve a beautiful and pristine lake, uh, both upstream, downstream, and everywhere else. And we're doing this so that the quality of life in Hot Springs remains as good as it should be. Quality of life, that's what people need to see. Yes. When, when, they, when we talk about all of these projects, that's the, the end game for all, all of us. We're helping Mother Nature, and we're doing what we're supposed to do and being good environmental stewards. Yes, we are taxpayer dollars are hard at work here, and thank you, Larry, for explaining some of the intricacies of the projects all along the way. Thank you. And next week we'll bring you more city news.